it is so easy to get insular as a health professional, particularly as doctors. We go to work, we work very hard, and then we don't actually talk or communicate with people who we don't work with on an everyday basis. And when you come to a meeting like this, you see people that you've never met, you meet old friends that you used to work with, and the exchange of ideas is just fantastic. Well, I think today's event is about being a collaborative doctor and I know that the GMC are hosting a series of workshops around the UK and I think for me it's about learning as much as I can about collaboration and also recognising that today we're looking at how multidisciplinary teams work, how also the um, patient-centred care is something that's so important that we want to focus and develop and I think for me I'm a frontline clinician, I'm also a consultant that looks after the foundation doctors within my organisation and I've also got a real interest in patient safety and I think all these things together um, make today a reason why I should really be here. Personally I think one of the biggest challenges is going to be recruiting enough doctors and nurses to deliver the care that our population are going to need in the next 30 or 40 years, training them correctly and keeping them in the profession. I think most GPs will, will share um, my thoughts of the biggest challenge is capacity really, it's, it's managing the patient load. Um, surviving in this period really. I resigned from being a partner in general practice because I felt the job was impossible. I felt the expectations from the powers that be, the politicians and the expectations of patients because of what they were promised have become totally unsustainable. I think with simpler medical problems finding a common way forward where the patient understands what they're doing or what they need to take or adjust in their lifestyle, they're more likely to do it if it's an agreed plan between the two of us. We can't work as uni professionals in medicine, I don't think we've ever been able to, but increasingly so, we need to be able to share the care for our patients. It may not be necessary for certain patients to really ever see doctors. They may be much better looked after by nurses and all sorts of nurses. Sometimes they might need a very specialist nurse for their problem. Sometimes they might need somebody who can make a cup of tea and do a bit of shopping as well as bandage their leg. Multidisciplinary work is the way forward. Integrated care is, is the, big, the big issue of the day, isn't it really? I mean, every professional has a role to play, the patients themselves have a role to play and bringing all that together, uh, it's very easy to say integrated care, it's a very simple word but it's a very complex thing to actually do. Uh, but if we get that right, uh, patients will be the major beneficiaries. I think doctors can learn a huge amount from other professions. I think for a long time it's been felt that doctors work in silo and I think actually um, I'm a consultant geriatrician and we work, I work very much as part of a multidisciplinary team um, and it's about learning leadership skills from each other, it's about working as a team and learning good skills of communication. It's also about respecting other people and respecting the strengths of other people and um, really focusing together on improving care for patients but recognising that you can't really do that on your own, you've got to do it collectively.